So here we go, we've just received a signal from Bank to Binary, Australian dollar versus the US dollar, up next expiry. So that's what exactly what we'll do here. We'll go to the Australian dollar against the US dollar. Okay. And we'll go up and we'll put £71 on there. Okay. And we'll apply it. Okay, so we're now trading. That is now approved and confirmed as you can see by the screen. What will happen now is obviously that trade will continue to continue to trade. I've bought that at 97.348. Uh, trade strike price was 97.330, so we're slightly higher than that, but that does, shouldn't, shouldn't matter too much. Okay, so that, that trade will expire in 7 minutes, 46 seconds. So we can go back to that one once that's expired. So we'll just pause this just for a minute whilst it's running then, and then we'll go back to it. Just before I pause it, you can see there the live... The live clock timer says 8.37.34 seconds. So we'll go back to that at the expiry period, which will be um, in 7 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay, so whilst, uh, whilst this trade's taking place, we can actually monitor the trade here. You can see the trade was placed as the Australian dollar against the US dollar. You can actually see it physically trading, and you can see our investment of £71, which at the moment is in the money, and will pay out £124.25. Okay, so we'll come back to that once it's actually completed its trade. Okay, so we're now back at the trading platform, having seen that that trade has now um, passed its expiry period. Okay, so we'll go back to have a look to see what actually happened with that trade. Okay, so we'll just log straight in there and uh, we'll actually have a look. You'll see there my portfolio under my account. We'll just click on my portfolio. And scroll down. And there you'll see the trade that we placed. It was um, we placed seventy-one pounds. It was the United States uh, dollar against the U.S. dollar. We placed the trade at eight thirty-six, and that was a winning trade. We actually ended up with a profit of one hundred and twenty-four pounds twenty-five. If we take that from our original stake there of seventy-one pounds, just do that quickly. One twenty-four point. 25 minus 71 pounds we've got a profit of 53 pounds 25 so here we are back at the trading platform uh, waiting for our third trading signal of the day you remember the first um, trade that we that we placed we won 124.25 the second trade that we placed uh, was a losing trade so now we're just waiting for our third um, signal from bank to binary and then we'll place a trade in order to ensure that we win our £250 over five trades which is what we're looking to do well here we go fifth trade of the day um, I've just placed a trade on the USD CAD um, the trade time was 12.35 and that trade expires at 1300 hours. The investment was 71 pounds with a potential payout of 122 pounds, which you can see is displayed in green at the moment. And if it's displayed in green, it means the trade is in the money. Okay, that trade has an expiry time of 1300 hours, which gives us 25 more minutes before that trade expires. We'll come back once it's expired. Okay, so let's have a complete recap on um, how the trading's gone today. Um, it's still Friday the 17th of May 2013, and the time now is um, 2.45 in the afternoon. 
okay which is actually if you follow the mouse down you'll find it's 345 in the UK so that's 245 over in um, Cyprus where this um, platform is hosted and it's 340 45 or 47 in here in the UK okay so let's go back to our um, let's go back to our trading account so okay if we drop into my account yeah, it's going to be a bit slow isn't it my portfolio okay here we go so first trade that we put on this morning was 71 pounds okay we put that on that it's all today as you'll see there it's all today's dates you see there all today's dates so that's this is all today's trading first trade that we put on was 71 pounds okay and that trade um, was a winning trade and we drew 124 pounds 25 which gave us a 53 pound profit okay the second trade 71 pounds actually was a losing trade um, third trade was 269 pounds um, the asset by the way is is sort of irrelevant in a lot of ways it's just um, the trade that we're given from um, bank to binary we're told what to trade and when to trade it so the asset almost in some ways is immaterial to us the third trade is um, we traded 655 pounds okay as you can see that was a winning trade um, that paid us 1126 pounds 60 so at that particular point, we had a £200 profit over four trades. That's one, two, three, four trades. And our bank balance was actually showing a £200 profit at that stage. Okay. Then we went on to place a fifth trade, which, is, um, which was £71. And that was actually a losing trade. So let's go back to our, let's go back to our trading platform now. So if you I don't know if you can follow that, we had a profit up until the last trade. The last trade obviously um, was a losing trade. Okay, so we'll go back to the trading platform. Okay, which is there. Okay, being very patient. It is connecting, but it's taking its time. Okay, so we're back to the trading platform, and you'll if I scroll down. Okay, it's it's loaded up now. Just scroll down. You'll see that we've actually got a trade running at the moment. Okay, and it's so at the moment it's out of the money, but this trade doesn't actually expire till eight o'clock this evening. So we won't know whether this is a winning or a losing trade up until eight o'clock tonight. Okay. However, um, the trade is a trade that I've put on to cover. The losses from the last trade so we've actually um, we've actually put 270 pounds on that trade okay that covers the loss from trade one and will give us a 100 pound profit so we just need to just need to keep an eye on that because in real terms what we've done is if you if you can follow going back to our winning trades we've only had one losing trade so this is our second losing this is our second trade Okay, so we'll be looking for a £100 profit on this trade. Um, but I'll let you know after 8 o'clock tonight how that trade's progressed. Well, here we are. I'm back at the trading platform. It's now Saturday the 18th of uh, May 2013. And you'll see there that it's 9.18 in the morning. Okay. Um, I can already see that yesterday's trading was totally successful and we achieved exactly what we um, set out to do. The balance before I started yet trading yesterday was exactly £10,000 in that account. And now we have a figure of 10355 So obviously a profit of 30555 uh, for one day's trading, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, just to um, show you how that profit was uh, was made, we'll go into my portfolio. And uh, scroll down. Okay, just to recap on yesterday's trading. Um, first trade was um, the Australian dollar against the US dollar. That was a winning trade. 
and that was placed yesterday morning at 8.45. Okay, that was a winning trade and gave us a profit of 124.25. The second trade, uh, Euro USD, 71 pound trade again, and that gave us a profit of nothing. That was actually a losing trade. Okay, third trade um, was again a trade that lost um, on the USD Japanese yen market. Okay, the following trade, which was the fourth trade, um, we, we placed 655 pounds, and that was actually a winning trade which gave us a profit of about 200 pounds at that point okay so we're still looking don't forget we're looking for 50 pounds oh, I don't know why that's jumped up uh, keep current Let's beg your pardon on that um, gave us a the fourth trade was a winning trade which actually gave us a 200 pounds profit overall on the four trades that we'd placed which is obviously our target figure um, the fifth trade I placed was a £71 trade again. So you'll notice we went, as soon as we win, we go back to our £71 trade, okay, to target £50. Okay, so we're back there, that traded, and uh, and we lost that trade. So we're back up to our £270 uh, investment, which mirrors the investment down there. So we're on a £270 investment on that one. Um, and that gave us a winning trade of £461.70, which actually finalised our trading for yesterday. And our trading account now shows a profit of, you can work it out because you can actually add the figures up there yourself, but going back to, uh, going back to the home page or the trading platform, and you'll see a profit of £305.00. And 55 pence, which is exactly where we want it to be.